Alright, our home page is starting to look pretty decent, but we still need to adjust the settings regarding the home page so that we can put our content in the right way and have it look perfect. So let's try to do this pretty quickly. For starters, we actually need to create a new page, which we're going to call front page. And I'll explain why right now. We need to go to new page. And we need to title this front page, just like that. And then on the right hand side, I'm just going to choose no sidebars, full width layout, because this page is going to replace part of our home page and we're going to add content to this page and we want it full width. Usually the home page of a website doesn't have a sidebar. Now if we publish this page, not much will happen. If we click to the home page, the home page is still unchanged and that's because in WordPress your home page will usually have a default look depending on the theme you chose. In this case we get the logo and the navigation menu which we created and by default we get the slider and then by default we also get the featured images right here that expand and by default we also get the blog post down here default just means that's the way it comes when you install it however we want a little bit more flexibility we actually want to create our own content right beneath this little line right here this little embossed line we want to create our own content and that's why I made a page called front page because we can put stuff on the front page which will go down here and we can make that go down further and further if you want a really long long scrolling front page what we need to do now is go back to dashboard And now let's go down to settings and click on reading. And this is a place that a lot of web developers go at the start of building a site. It's part of the normal flow. To replace the default front page settings, which is your latest posts, with our own front page settings, which is gonna be a static page. This is just an important step that web designers and web developers take. So once you click a static page, we just need to make front page equal to front page. And I know that sounds kind of redundant, but it's going to let us do more with our home page. And while we're here, we also have to make the post page blog. Perfect. Now save changes. Now we will see some changes. If we go to our home page, we'll see that the blog posts are gone because under this line is now the front page page, which has nothing in it because we have to start adding our own content now underneath this line. And the stuff above this line we want to keep because we like that default content from the theme. Also when we click on the blog page, this page will now show a list of our blog posts because we assigned this blog page as our post page.